You wanna figure out how to rank your Google business listing consistently at the top of the map section. I'm gonna show you some tricks for how to do it. My junk removal company operates in over 40 major cities now with dozens of Google business listings, and we have tried every hack and every method under the sun to see what factors help or hurt our Google business rankings. Google business listings are not something you want to cut corners on. 46% of Google searches are people looking for local businesses, and more than 50% of those local searchers click on what is called the Google Map Pack. That's this first map section here that shows up on Google. This means that most people searching for your business aren't clicking on Google ads or the standard Google website listings. They're going directly to the map section and clicking on a business. So I'm going to show you how to get your business ranking in that top section of the map. So get your pen and paper ready because I'm about to list off every actionable item I know to help you rank better in that coveted Google map section. First, if you like this content and want more, please like and subscribe. I don't sell anything on here, and so your likes and subscriptions are what keep me going. So let's get started with the key steps to optimize your Google business profile. Number one, choose the right business category. Google business lets you choose a primary business category for your business. This primary category is critical and is one of the main ranking factors Google uses to see if you're relevant in a specific search. Now, this may seem straightforward, but many people may have chosen a less than optimal primary category. Do you choose lawn care service or landscaper, piano instructor or music school. There are often multiple options that explain your service, but which one will help you rank better? Here's how you can find out. So download a free Chrome plugin called GMB Everywhere plugin, Google My Business Everywhere. This will allow you to spy in on your competitors by doing a simple search on Google with this plugin open. Your competitor's primary service category will show up below their business name with a star next to it. Look at the businesses ranking at the top of the search results for the keywords that you want to show up for and see what their primary category is. Use the same category that the top ranking businesses are using. Number two, optimize your business name for search. The name of your business can actually help you rank better for your specific service. You want to include the main keyword people are searching for in your business name whenever possible. Just remember, Google's policy is that it must be your real business name. So for example, if you are trying to rank for Denver Lawn Care Services, something like Big Mike's Denver Lawn Care is going to show Google that you are more relevant to that exact term and will help you rank better than if your business was just named Big Mike's mics or big mics mowing. So add that in whenever possible. Step number three, try to have the location of your business in the area you want to service. Google business presents businesses based on location. Often the businesses that show up to a searcher are in close proximity to them. Google does not generally show businesses outside of the target city unless there are very few results. So if your business location is not inside the city limits of the city you're targeting, you should try to get there. That doesn't mean you have to move. Google says you can use a co-working or virtual office as your business location, as long as the location is staffed during business hours. So find a co-working spot or a house you use as an office within the city limits and make that your listing address. Step number four, create a keyword rich business description and choose the right services. So your business description in Google business is your chance to shine and show Google what you're all about. Craft a compelling keyword rich description that tells potential customers and Google who you are, what you do, and where you operate. Be sure to include the services you offer and names of major cities or areas that you provide your service. Google is scraping your listing to get any info they can about who you are, what you do, and where you do it. And your description acts as a guide to help Google figure this out. Make sure you fill out your whole listing, and this includes the services and products that you offer. Select the services that best fit your business. Don't stuff the services with too many options. Just stick to the main few services you offer so Google gets a clear picture and a clear idea of what you do. Number five, add high quality photos and videos that are geotagged to your service area. Images can help in a lot of ways. They help customers see that you're a real business, see your work. They also help Google in a few ways. Google can see that you're an active business, but there's also a little trick that you can use when uploading your images to help Google find where these images were taken. You can go to tools.geoimager.com and upload your photos or videos. Then you can tag that photo or video with a specific location. You're gonna to wanna to do that in your 
service area. So when you geotag the image, it shows Google where the image was taken. This is another way that you can assist Google in understanding where your business operates. Number six, reviews. So encourage reviews and respond to them. Reviews are a powerful ranking factor. The more four or five star reviews you have, the more established and trusted Google sees you and thus the higher you will begin to rank. Now, if you are not asking for reviews, start doing it. Whether you have an automated follow-up email requesting a review or you simply text each customer after completing their job, you will find that the act of simply just asking for the review will skyrocket the amount of reviews you get. It's astonishing to me how many service businesses come to my house, leave, and don't even ask me for a review when I would certainly give one. I have found that saying something along the lines of, hey, thanks so much, we really appreciate you choosing Jim's gutter cleaning. We are a small business and benefit greatly from reviews. If you have a second to leave us a review on Google, we would greatly appreciate it. And then put the link directly to leave the review. You can get that link directly from your Google business listing. Don't forget to respond to both positive and negative feedback it shows that you care and it also shows Google that you're an active and engaged business. Number seven, optimize the landing page that you're linking out to. Link to a page on your website that is relevant to the specific service and area that you are listing on your Google business page. This page should have relevant keywords in the title, the H1 and H2 tags, and make sure that the business's name, address, and phone number is included on that page and is consistent across the rest of the web. Google values this greatly. Also embed a Google map on this page. This can enhance your local SEO and increase your chances of appearing in local map searches. And one more tip, whenever possible, get backlinks back to your website from other local businesses or news outlets in your area. If you work with another business or volunteer for an event, be sure to ask them to add a link to your website on their site. This will help Google see your relevance in the local market and will increase your authority, all helping you rank higher. If you work with other businesses, also link out to those businesses on your local page, and then Google will see that you are affiliated with some other local businesses and that you're active in that community. So there you have it, your ultimate guide to Google Business Profile SEO. If you found this guide helpful, please share it with any business owners that you think it might be helpful to. Subscribe down below. Really appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one.